doing this to myself oh today guys we're playing mlb the show 18 i repeat we're playing mlb the show 18 in 2022 don't ask me why but if i were to tell you it's probably because mlb the show 21 is not very fun right now the game is kind of boring at this point they haven't been releasing much content the last thing we got was will clark so i figured you know let's spice things up today and let's play mlb the show 18 in 2022 so if you guys do end up enjoying the video be sure to leave a like on the video for me and hit that subscribe button on the road to 50k if you enjoy but anyways guys let's talk about mlb the show 18 real quick so this was probably the worst game i have ever played in my existence on this earth or at least worst baseball game i have ever played and it's up there with our top the worst games i've ever played honestly i don't know what went wrong with this game there was just so many bad decisions and we're going to talk about uh the things that they did in this game that i hope they don't end up doing in MLB The Show 22 because the last couple years of MLB The Show games have been pretty good in fact so uh MLB The Show 18 guys so I want to hear your thoughts on it if you played this game let me know down below in the comment section your thoughts as a whole whether you liked the game or disliked the game I want to hear your thoughts because there's I never really heard anyone say one good thing about MLB The Show 18 and it's been out for four years now so let me know your thoughts down below the servers will be getting shut down in 2022 so this will be the final and last time I ever jump on this game and play it here so we will have a gameplay i'm also going to show you why they did a lot of bad decisions in this game so if you're here for strictly the gameplay i'll put the timestamp down below in the description so make sure you guys check that out and you know what let's jump into the worst baseball game in the history of my existence and that'll be the show 18 diamond dynasty here we are immortals boom slapped right in your face but look at that top right corner level 92 bronze i think what that tells you is I didn't play this game for very long. So quick little backstory here. MLB The Show 18 dropped in March of 2018. And I think I only played this game for like a month of its play cycle. I uninstalled and quit this game like in May of 2018. So I think I only really played like a full month of MLB The Show 18, which is insane. Because you think about this year, MLB The Show 21. I've put in tons of hours. So I wanted to show you that real quick because it's pretty funny that I quit this game like a month into the play cycle. So I think that just tells you how bad this game was. So I'm gonna tell you why I hated this game so much and run you guys through all of the stuff in MLB 18 Diamond Dynasty. If you wanna see strictly the gameplay, I'll have a timestamp down below in the description if you guys wanna check that out right now. But we're gonna talk for a few minutes here on why this game was so bad. So you see Immortals here definitely was a bad grind. The grind took so long. So we're gonna talk about that. You've got your ranked seasons, battle royale events, all that good stuff there. Conquest, you've got your main squad. This was my main squad. So I did quit this game in May, but I ended up jumping on like at the very end of the year because I really wanted to play baseball again. And then Christian Yelich, uh, I picked him up. And then I also pre-ordered MLB The Show 19. That's how I got this 95 Bryce Harper. So yes, I did play like a, maybe a couple times after May, but not very much after that. So um, yeah, that Bryce Harper was a pre-order reward. So why I'm bringing that up is because if Shohei Otani is the cover of MLB The Show 22, they could release like a pre-order bonus, MLB The Show 21, 99 Otani to add some life to the game. That's just a possibility there. But let me show you my squad here. What was this star? Oh, this was the ball player. This was the cap. Small D was my cap. Let me show you what my demigod cap looked like. He was insane, man. He was a sidearm delivery, five foot beast, man. He was insane. Small D could not mess with him. Yeah, let me blur that out. Uh, yeah, definitely got to blur that out there. You guys don't want to see that. But uh, let me show you my main squad here. So center field mike trout was a 94 overall in mlb the show 18. let me show you it takes a while to load up the card let me count one two three four five six seven eight nine 
10. We've got to 10, it still hasn't loaded. So let me wait till this loads. 2,000 years later. So it took like 15 seconds to load one card. That was another horrible problem about MLB The Show 18, where we are now on PS5, so it shows that it's not a hardware issue. This game was just poorly made all around. So Mike Trout was only 94 overall, and he had horrible stats. He just This was the first year that they released 100 plus hitting ratings, and they didn't give the best live series card in the game 100 plus hitting ratings. I thought that was insane. Uh, so yeah, Mike Trout wasn't rated very high in this game, and my squad just wasn't good this was my highest rotation here 81 freaking Shohei Otani on my god squad now the ticket counter was a great uh thing about MLB the show in years past this is basically if you played the game you would accumulate tickets to where you could buy diamond cards gold cards and then if I had 12,000 tickets I could buy this uh Yogi Berra but I had to be diamond level zero which I wasn't getting to diamond level because I stopped playing this game really early but let me show you Yogi Berra it's gonna take a long time to load but I'll show you two thousand years later all right 30 seconds later here's Yogi Berra who this was his last year in MLB the show uh, game so yeah he was taken out after this year I don't know why but his card was honestly not the greatest power hitting card but a great contact card there and Yogi Berra the catcher spot in MLB the show just isn't really I would say kind of one of the more weaker positions I'd say so hopefully in upcoming years we do get some more catchers I'd love to see Yogi Berra back anyways here's the immortal stuff so the immortals you got 99 immortal Mike Trout let me show you the stats here on 99 immortal Mike Trout in 30 seconds one eternity Later. So the cards just took forever to load in this game, man. It was definitely not fun. You couldn't even really add a card to your squad because it took so long to load and it still hasn't loaded. Finally, it loads literally 30 seconds. So this card was honestly pretty good. Um, I was expecting more power versus lefties, but pretty decent fielding there. Low arm strength, only at 75 but pretty decent, 100 plus on three of the categories there for the hitting stats. And let me show you the rest of the Immortals. The grinds were just unbelievable. I don't think I can show you all of the stats here, but because I have to unlock some of these missions to see the next ones, but it was a tough freaking grind to get to 100%. It took a long time. So um, you had Stan the Man, Babe Ruth, and all these other Immortals here, um, Chipper. I think all these guys are actually still in the game. And then we move here to the career arcs. Albert Bell was actually in MLB The Show 18. Uh, wasn't he a juicer? I think he was a juicer. Uh, bobbleheads, man, talk about bobbleheads. That was one of the worst things about this game. Uh, oh my gosh, I'll get into that in a second. But Albert Bell was actually in this game. Honestly, not gonna pull up his stats because it's literally gonna take forever. Roberto Alomar did not get his 99 this year because of his assault allegations, I believe. I'm not sure um, the circumstances in his case, but uh, he definitely won't be in next year's game, I'd say, because he's definitely has an ongoing case. Uh, that's why they didn't release his 99 this year for anyone wondering. But you had some other career arcs here, which I didn't really understand the point of these career arcs too much. The mortals weren't fun. Let me show you if I can show you Babe Ruth, his immortal grind. So these were some of the mortal grinds. You had to get um, his lower tier card, all those stats, and then the rest of these. It was just took forever, man. Um, but then you got immortal Babe Ruth, which I actually want to show you the stats on this card. Much, much, much later. Oh, row, row your boat gently down the stream. No, 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 no. It's taking forever to load. Oh my God, man. So it has been 30 seconds and Babe Ruth finally loaded here, but this card was loaded, man. He had 125 everything. This card was so freaking good um, in MLB The Show 18, which actually this year, uh, his card was better in MLB The Show 21. Take a look at the Angels team epic. It's only an 85 overall Troy Percy, right? Uh, let me show you the missions on this. So to get that 85 card, you had to accumulate 500 total plate appearances with Angels players in Diamond Dynasty games. Imagine how long that's gonna take. Let me show you the Astros. This was a gold 84 overall 100 pence for all of these stats, man. It was just unbelievable. It just wasn't worth it. So here was the all-time live series collection award here, which I think you did get immortal Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Souvenirs, you had autographs in this. It was just so dumb, man. Uh, this The bobblehead thing was definitely Definitely the dumbest thing of MLB The Show um, 18. So it just wasn't really fun there. There really wasn't much to be happy about with this game, but you know what? Let's try to hop into a ranked game. I don't think anyone is playing this game at this point in the year, but uh, it's 2022. Let's see what we can do. 
one eternity later. I found an opponent in 2022. I've literally been sitting here for like 30 minutes trying to find an opponent. I can't believe this and I hope he doesn't quit. I'm pressing ready as soon as possible. And yes, you could not pick your pitcher in MLB The Show 18. So it is a random select out of five, which was a little different, but I wish you could pick your pitcher. We got a game in 2022 against the Michigan Bombers. He's got a silver bronze squad, but let's catch a dub. Oh, we got Mike Trout coming up here. I've got the wedge PCI. Like I said, there wasn't much options with the PCI. And I felt like that was pretty good of a hit there. PCIs look like, so you had wedge, you had outline, you had classic buckshot, which if you use buckshot, there might be something, something wrong there. You might have to worry about you. And then you've got reticle, which I kind of want to try out reticle. That was my go-to other than wedge. He's throwing a lot of change ups. I'm looking change up. Oh, he goes right down the middle. I think that might be gone. That's dead center in Detroit. That should be a home run. Oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever hit a home run dead center in Detroit. That is crazy, man. It's deep, 420 out there. Now, I really want him to hit in a ball into the outfield. I really want to show you guys just how really low of urgency there was with the, with the fielders, man. It was another horrible part of this game. One thing about this game was if you didn't have a power hitter, you really didn't have a chance. Like contact hitters were just useless in MLB The Show 18. But I think here I'm gonna go back to uh, to Wedge. I just like that look better. Oh, that's right down the middle. It's gonna be a ground out to the second baseman. But like I said, power hitters were the meta of MLB The Show 18. Uh, contact hitters just were, it just wasn't really a point to use them. They weren't gonna get a hit. Oh, that's a bad swing, but Trout actually might beat that out for a base hit. And he does. Mike Trout beats it out. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get Trout going here. We're still in on this pitch. He got a really good jump where in MLB the show 18, you see, that was another problem. Man, it, it didn't stop him at second base. So you guys are seeing the problems as we do this quick 10, 15 minute video. Should have stopped at second, but he didn't. He's bunning right here. Yep, he's bunning again. Look how much exit below that bunt had. Oh, that's gonna get through the hole. That's a base hit for Jose Ramirez. That he was a really good card. Down the middle. Is that a homer? That's that's hit pretty high, deep into left field, and it doesn't look like he's gonna get there. He does. Man, that ball should have been hit further. Right down the middle, and I think it's gonna be another flyout. So as you can see, that inning I had three squared up hits there, and yeah, this game just didn't really reward you very much. So you had to really work for your runs. There was tons of lineouts in this game. Oh, he gets his first hit of the game. That's through the hole on a late swing. <laughs> we almost threw him out at second, or at first. I did that a few times in this game. That was definitely something you could do in MLB 18. And that's gonna be a double play. Oh my gosh, you guys are seeing the problem with this game. <laughs> that was literally, that was so bad, man. Oh my gosh, he didn't lock onto the ball. Oh man. So let me show you guys here. I'm running around in circles, trying to get the shortstop to lock on. He just he just wouldn't lock on. But I'm trying to get him to lock on and he just wouldn't lock on. That happened so much in this game. It was just such a frustrating game to play. And it hit him again. <laughs> this game was just so bad, man. He's bunny again. We're gonna go home. But the urgency, okay, never mind. We got the out there. We'll take it. We got one down. He's stilling and he's trying to bunt and we hit him again. But that time I actually should have hit him because I had a really bad release. He's stilling again and he's bunting. So he's gonna get another run on it. And this guy is cheesing in 2022. So we're out of the inning. So that sums up MLB The Show 18 for you. And he gets another hit. That's actually, that might be his first or second like legit hit there. So hey, props to my opponent. He's stilling here. Let's try to get him. And we do not have enough arm strength on our catcher. He's stealing again and he's gonna get the run. Man, this catcher can't block or throw anybody out. So he gets another run off of nothing. It just really sums up MLB The Show 18 for you. Right down the middle, that should be a home run, hopefully. So we get one on the board there. It's another home run. We're down by two. Let's try to make a little comeback here. Oh, that's another bomb right there. We're down by one. My opponent's sweating. Who just hit that homer? I think that was Christian Yelich. 98 overall, Yelich, he's a beast. That's his second homer. We're down by one now. Oh, that's hit pretty hard. That ball is crushed. 
for a Jorge Posada. So we, uh, I think we tied the game on that home run. That ball was crushed. And I think that's a home run. So we take the lead here and he actually might quit after that. I'm just tagging every, yep, I knew he was gonna quit. I'm tagging every baseball. We get a dub here in 2022. That is gonna do it for today's video, guys. Wanted to hop on MLB 18, man. The servers will be getting shut down this year. So it was definitely a cool to get a ranked seasons dub in MLB 18 four years later. Pretty funny there. Uh, my opponent, props to him not quitting earlier. He didn't have the greatest squad, but you saw, you don't have to do much to score runs in this game. It was a frustrating game to play, to say the least. But yeah, definitely not very many great decisions for SDS for this game. The Immortals were cool, but just it took forever to get them. So they're really hard to unlock. And just not very many great cards in this game. Like they had Albert Bell as a new legend, but I don't even think they gave him a 99 overall card. So it was like a lot of stuff that was very questionable here. Uh, ticket counter was cool. Definitely one thing that I can take away from this game. The coolest thing I would say for MLB The Show 18 was I definitely would say the uh, intro. Uh, the intro where I showed you guys earlier, but it gives me chills, man, loading up the game. The intro for MLB 18 was one of the best intros for a baseball game I have ever seen. So that's definitely one take one takeaway I can say was a great positive from MLB 18. But nonetheless, this game just wasn't that great all in all, man. But if you guys did enjoy be sure to leave a like on the video for me and also hit that subscribe button if you guys enjoyed it as well now if you want to see me play another mlb the show game let me know down below in the comment section i can hop on mlb 19 or 20 do like a, a return of to those games as well if you guys want to see that let me know but you guys have a great wonderful rest of your day i'll catch you guys here in the next one and light skin ah. he asked me what i do in winter when there is no baseball i'll tell you what i do i stare out the window and wait for spring